Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading, Cancer. Let's see what messages will show up for you. We have cycle. So we are ending past patterns, karmic cycles. Very nice. We have energy of friendship. Earth sign. Also, we have fear and spring. Okay. So for some of you, Cancer, someone is stressing out here. Someone is anxious that they lost opportunity with you, Cancer. You might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is quite important for your situation. Mm -hmm. Someone is afraid that certain things came to an end and there is no chance to kind of repeat a certain cycle or you giving them another chance. For some of you, you have a certain situation with regards to your friendship and this particular friend, it's, 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 it's stressing out about something here. Maybe you had a falling out with someone. It won't resonate with all of you. But a Spirit is saying here that uh, if you are worrying about something, okay, because that fear energy is overall energy, therefore it can also apply to your situation. A Spirit wants you to know that things, uh, are, uh, things will be okay because some sort of new opportunity or stability is going to present itself very, very soon. That's why we have this energy of friendship. Don't worry, spend some time with friends or have fun or just, you know, kind of a, don't stress out too much. I know it's very easy to say, I understand that, but a spirit wants to reassure you that things will be just fine. Friendship energy is just this energy of having fun or doing things that makes you happy. So for some of you, it can be, you know, uh, watching TV or, or reading a favorite book or going for a walk, going for a coffee with your friend, or just, you know, watching your favorite TV show once again, or just have a time to sit down and breathe, to just relax. The main message here is that certain things came to an end, you are ending certain cycles, and I feel that you've also ending um, some sort of there is a, there is there is an end of some sort of routine and that routine can can apply to many things and it can have many meanings for instance you might have recently changed perspective with regards to particular situations or or or, or areas of your life therefore you might be uh, kind of you know in the middle of the of, of, of the decision how to approach certain situ situations but with this uh, cycle card I feel that you want to approach them differently you are ending here certain cycles calming cycles and there is a change of perspective I'm also getting here cancer that uh, for some of you this is indeed an earth sign they want to repeat the cycle with you but they're stressing out that it's too late because uh, they might get an impression that you moved on you know that you are celebrating you're spending time with your friends you are just not interested March April May those months are showing up here at the bottom of the deck they might be quite important for your situation or something might have happened okay during this time Spring, spring, this energy of uh, rebirth, right? So it might be indeed the case that someone from your past here wants to show up. They are stressing out about something with the fear card. But we'll see. Let's see, Cancer, what, what Tara will tell us. Could you please show? What do we have? For cancer we have the two of wands we have a knight of pentacles yeah I feel you are planning something here oh your finances are looking good they will look good you can expect some sort of support here cancer king of pentacles absolutely we have this earth sign, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the start, the bottom of the deck. This is Aquarius energy. Very strong earth. For some of you, you are focusing on your work-related matters, on your finances, and I can reassure you here that things will, will be great because to have a Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, this is, this is money. This is, this is cash. <laughs> this is good. Something here will play out to your advantage when it comes to your work-related situation, money. I can see a big also uh, acknowledgement, accomplish, accomplishment and being praised. And I feel that, you know, it took lo quite a long time here to, to, to kind of be in a place where you are. Because Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in a deck. So it shows that something took a long time. But you can, you can be reassured here, if you applied for some sort of position, right? Or if you want a promotion, I'm very strongly seeing you getting it, Cancer with the Three of Pentacles. Because Three of Pentacles is a card of mastery. You are here, possess some sort of skill. Skill and people will acknowledge that skill. If they haven't acknowledged it in the past, you can be reassured that uh, you will, your, your, your skill will be very visible for people. And it will bring you a certain amount of stability. Mm, big stability. This is King, right? King of Pentacles. Boss. For some of you, uh, there is a promotion. Money, big money, money is coming in your way here, Cancer. Big time. And for some time, you know, you might be playing, plan, sorry, you might be planning something. And you see this particular two of wands, he has his hand uh, tied to this, to one wand, and his foot also tied to this one and therefore it's giving me this vibe that you know you were planning you were very patient but <sighs> anytime when you wanted to approach certain situation something here was blocking it or you felt that oh maybe it, it might not be a right time uh, my hands essentially are tied or I feel some sort of blockage this situation will change there is a big profits big abundance and this uh, this this energy of growth and expansion something here really you can expect money or your financial situation to 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 bring you stability this is very very nice i also strongly seeing here someone who wants to be a team player and who wants some sort of form of stability with you but as an overall energy, I can see here that you can expect abundance and your finances and work-related situation will be very, very good. What else we have for Cancer? We have the Hanged Man, okay. Ten of Swords wanted to show up. Ending to this period, okay. We have a Ten of Pentacles, a Five of Pentacles. And we have Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Seven of Pentacles. You have quite strong uh, Pentacle energy throughout your reading, Cancer. Therefore, it's giving me a sign that at the moment, as a collective, a lot of you might be focusing on a 3D situation, meaning career, uh, stability, money, which is absolutely fine because, well, we need this, right, to, 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 to kind of... Uh, we need stability in our life. That's something that it's given. But yes, I can feel that as a collective, for some of you, you are focusing on career. You might focusing on career at this time, or something, some sort of stability, a work-related situation, money. Hang, you might be dealing with Pisces, but I have very strong Earth. So again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn might be quite important, or you might have heavy placements in your chart. I wanted to say Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with Capricorn. Cancer, um, hmm. 
you can expect here some sort of very in and out energy to show up. Okay, some sort of communication. This Knight of Wands, it's, it's very much focused on this Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. I'm getting here a particular, a very specific situation. Someone here wants to uh, make themselves known. They want to come, come back. Please take it as it resonates. And they want to communicate. The problem this person has, it's their inconsistency. This is someone who's very in and out, hot and cold. Once they can be very interested, and next day they can withdraw their energy and they can get very easily distracted. I feel this person at some point made you feel um, not that you are not enough. That's how they made you feel, being completely left out in the cold. And the thing is that things ha were at some point very, very stable and good. But because of this person's inconsistency, uh, that stability couldn't be maintained. For some of you, this is also very specific, you will receive a message from someone who said, I'm having financial difficulties with the Five of Pentacles and I essentially ha has nowhere to go. Could you please... Uh, could you please, uh, um, can I stay with you? That's essentially what they're showing here. The thing is, Cancer, that this person, when they will come, it might be a case that they will want it to stay for a very, very long time because they will get very comfortable. That's what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting here that someone will communicate and they will say that they're having a financial difficulties or someone will essentially ask you for money. The thing is that they've been for quite a long time here in these financial difficulties. You might be dealing with someone who, <laughs> who, who, who has so many ideas and for instance once they said oh there is this, this super opportunity to gain money uh, could you please uh, could you please lend me some some cash right and then that when when they experiencing a loss because it didn't work out then at some at some time you know when the time goes by this person is coming back again and asking again for for some money it can be a relative it can be friend it can be family member please take it that it resonates but i'm seeing someone here coming and telling you that they that they are in a quite uh, difficult financial situation they are facing it and for some of you this person would want it to 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 borrow some money can, is that correct can i no to lend some money lend someone money they would want to borrow money i think that's how it is sorry for my broken english very difficult grammar <laughs> but they will ask for money yeah let's do it that way this person will ask for money or some sort of support if that's the case with the hanged man, I don't feel that they will repay you. Okay, they will give you money back. Because this is passive energy, this is blockage. Nothing is happening. So they're essentially coming and saying, well, I'm having problems. Can you please help me financially? But with the, with the hanged man, that it's not what's going to happen. They will not give you money back. Therefore, there is some sort of kind of... A, loss they might say oh you know it will take me some time with the seven of pentacles because it's like a long-term project so you have to wait but i will give you money back be reassured mm, i'm not quite sure i feel this person is aware that you might be do doing quite well financially here but oh might be dealing with pisces cancer but um it is a very 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 uh like a clear message that someone it's coming here because they're having financial difficulties. And for some of you, this person would like to, will, will, will ask you to help them financially, or they will essentially ask if they, can, if, if they can stay with you at your property. Either way, uh, Spirit is saying here that with the hangman, you might wait a very, very, very long time to get the money back. We have a Seven of Pentacles card of patience. We have a Knight of Pentacles 
who is taking forever and we have the hangman the card of blockage so it can be a case that you, that you you will never see actually this money back and for some of you if this person will ask you know oh, i'm having difficulties can i stay uh, with you uh, you it can be a case that they will stay and they will not want to move out this is very specific i want it won't resonate with you but that's for all of you sorry but but it's getting that's what i'm getting here that sort of kind of energy so there is something to think about okay because that essentially that can be for someone it can be a case mm -hmm. also pisces <laughs> Pisces, you might be dealing with Pisces. Also, this 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 reading is for Cancer, of course. Also, Cancer, uh, I feel that your finances will look really, really good, or they are looking very good. And it's important for you to, like, an advice from Spirit, to not uh, recklessly spend money for things that you know that you don't need. Okay, this is like a like a side message. We have this Knight of Wands and Five of Pentacles because things are looking quite good here for you. Really, really good. This is money, profits, you know, prosperity and abundance. But to kind of, you know, to to not overspend. Oh, that's what they say. Cancer. Uh, I will now clarify your cards. So we will have many stories. I will try to keep this reading as clear as it can be in order I don't want to confuse you okay of course I don't want to confuse you therefore I'll try to kind of explain the situation uh, as clear as 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 I can this is a collective reading for your sign so please take what resonate and how it resonate for your overall situation okay if this reading doesn't resonate cancer it's absolutely fine I'll be posting in another three days in the next sorry in the next three days another reading for your sign so please feel free to check check this reading as well also please check your other placements and only if you have a wish please check the other the other readings cross watches for for cancer you are very very much welcome but it might play from your perspective this reading so please take what resonates and how it resonates for your uh, for your situation as well therefore you might feel that this is your reading right cross watcher but cancer is like a main theme and this is how you can read this message also I attached I attached in the description box below the list of the decks that I'm using so if you would like to purchase or get one for yourself um, you can find them on Amazon or Etsy I'll just uh, attach the name of the deck so you can just put in a, this box the search box uh, on Amazon or Etsy and it will sh it will pop up it will show up for you okay cancer let's see let's clarify your reading why the two of wands why the two of wands for cancer please we have the devil mm -hmm. we have the chariot the two thank you and we have a ten of swords okay we have a six of wands so you will you are overcoming adversity here obstacles with the two of wands clarified by the devil the, the chariot and ten of swords i have cancerian energy i also have capricorn energy something here has been holding you back for a long time with the devil or someone however you are now f there is a sense of freedom with the chariot with the ten of swords something here ended and i feel it was a pain emotionally painful ending it might feel that someone metaphorically stabbed you in the back there is a sense of betrayal and also surrendered to the situation for some of you you might have been involved or stuck in a certain situation for a long time and it has been very very difficult draining and you felt that i just need to surrender to the situation the thing is 
cancer that you are freeing yourself from it and that's what I was getting it took a long time it can be a relationship it can be uh, anything really represented by the devil but this is an energy of holding you back attached to you um, not being fully able to kind of uh, to end a certain situation but you are freeing from it something here is ending or ended with the ten of swords it was painful emotionally painful but you are free and there is a sense of victory freedom liberation it essentially showing here cancer that you will be or you are you'll be free from something that's been heavily heavily uh, waiting on your shoulder who who or what has been very very difficult and was holding you back things are ending and you have your victory and freedom because you have double victory major arcana represented by the chariot you might be dealing with another cancer this is a this is a sense of direction you see this is a very very um action orientated card just it's giving me like freedom I'm, I'm i'm running away from it that's it it's done i don't i don't want this yeah, well who would want this right no one you're escaping this cancer whatever that is and it will bring you ultimate victory this is essentially showing uh, you being free and overcoming adver adversity obstacles and any issues that might have been blocking you or causing you emotional people for a long time this is a sense of freedom and you've been waiting for it i feel as a collective for a lot of you you've been waiting for a long time to be free to undertake or take action with regards to certain situation why the three of pentacles here for cancer please why the three of pentacles we have a four of swords Queen of Wands. Ooh. Wow. We have an Eight of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a Queen of Pentacles. So we have a King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. We have a match. You're attracting here your soulmate, Cancer. So the Three of Pentacles, um, clarified by the Four of Swords and Queen of Wands and Eight of Cups. Yes, it is showing here that for some of you, you are focusing on your work-related situation, your work, your career, your finances, your matters, and it is a form of healing. You, 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 you're gaining back your control with the Queen of Wands, and you are very desirable. People are looking at you as someone who is very beautiful, very attractive. Someone feels, uh, someone uh, is very attracted to you. They are very drawn to you. With the Eight of Cups, yes you are detaching you are walking away from situations and people that made you unhappy and may no longer serve a purpose in your life and with the queen of wands you are very precise about this uh, about this decision because she represents ambition determination as well and knowing exactly what you want and, and I feel that that's what the decision you, ma you made for yourself. To heal, to focus on certain things that now should be a priority for you. And to detach in order to find happiness somewhere else. Because something here was making you unhappy, dissatisfied. And there was this kind of energy of disappointment. With the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here is showing that, especially next to the King of Pentacles, you are you're attracting your divine counterpart. This is a soulmate energy for me. You have so much to offer. You're bringing so much to the table, and you will you will meet very soon here. Um, cancer, someone who is uh, who is of the same kind of vibrational level 
because you are here you have very very high vibrational energy it's attached to you you're yeah and this is this is someone who will understand you um it will just flow very beautiful very beautiful energy why the hangman why the hangman for cancer why the hangman for cancer please We have a Six of Swords, we have the Sun, we have a Page of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. So this time, Cancer, this time of stagnation will come to an end. If you feel that something here was blocking you or something, you know, uh, was making you feel stuck, you can be reassured that there soon things will get moving. With the Six of Swords, you are moving here into calmer times. With the Sun, you'll be very happy about it. You will find your happiness, fulfillment and satisfaction. You might be dealing with Leo, Page of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. And it will open some sort of opportunity, uh, potential for emotional happiness. Therefore, for some of you here, Cancers, Cancerians, if, if you've been single for a very, very long time, uh, you can be here reassured that, that, that love is showing up for you, that this time of stagnation, it's, it's, it's coming to an end and you will feel very, very happy because you are attracting here love, a new beginning in love, equal give take someone who is emotionally available and also who is very generous with their resources so that's very important to to emphasize as well why the ten of pentacles why the ten of pentacles we have a six of pentacles okay one more please why the ten of pentacles please why the ten of pentacles and we have two of swords. Hi, Priestess. I feel, can Cancer, that you are listening to your intuition. You might be dealing with Pisces. Mm -hmm. I feel that here's the thing. I feel that for a long time, you've been very generous with your time, uh, with your attention, and also with your resources. And now you kind of, you made a stand and you, you are saying no to a certain people because with the two of swords I see you being uh, very assertive and kind of blocking yourself and your energy especially when it comes to generosity your generosity towards people because what I'm getting here that someone or certain people uh, you have been very generous towards them but they didn't give much back to you when it comes to uh, um, attention care support emotional support uh, even when it comes to maybe for some of you uh, when it comes to day resources as well someone here wasn't that generous as you were and that's why with the two of swords you are blocking yourself you are saying, uh uh, no, no more. And this is something divinely guided. I feel that you are listening to your intuition. Intuition, your ancestors, uh, spirit, universe is guiding you. And kind of, I feel that there is some sort of enlightenment, something here that has been hidden, or someone who is wearing a mask for a long time. Uh, you now see this person or situation for, for what it truly is. And it's something I feel that you've been feeling for a long time. But you are giving this person or this situation many, many chances. And every time there was something that was disappointing you. I'm seeing you here being very, very kind of a, uh, selective with your energy and with your resources. Essentially, Six of Pentacles is showing someone who's being very generous, very supportive, who is offering their help. But with the two of swords, it's saying no. 
I know I am no longer available. My, I am no longer that generous with my time, with my support, with my resources as well. Because someone here has been wearing a mask. Someone here has been only taking and not giving back much. And I don't feel you, Cancer, even being very much, when it comes to this particular situation, you wanting, for instance, money back or something like this, because I see you here as someone very generous. You're showing up with the Six of Pentacles next to Ten of Pentacles. This is a generosity. This is support, like a big time. But someone here and has been only taking, and, and again, I feel that you wanted just some this person or these people to, to, to be there for you, to support you on emotional level or to provide you with the good advice. But they were only taking or they are only takers. Therefore, you're kind of closing yourself with the two of swords. And I'm, I'm feeling here you being very assertive and saying no. No, I am no longer available or I don't have time. Uh, well, I have certain things to do. Maybe next time. Uh, well, no, because uh, I need to kind of uh, focus, you know, direct my focus on something else. You are shielding your, um, your generosity, your heart, your resources. And you have a perfect reason to do that because someone it's just giving me this energy of kind of, you know, taking, taking, uh, draining you, draining you emotionally, draining, for some of you, draining you financially as well. And you are saying, that's enough. This is the end. I'm, 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 I'm taking a step back with the two of swords. I'm blocking myself. I'm shielding myself from these people, from this energy, because I truly didn't deserve it. And you didn't deserve it. Cross watchers, you might feel that way that you didn't deserve it. So what do we have this? Why we have the five of pentacles and the knight of wands? What is this energy? Why the five of wands and king of pentacles for cancer? Why is that? Why do we have five of pentacles and knight of wands? Two of cups. Mm -hmm. Why the Five of Pentacles and Knight of Wands? Too many. Too many. Come on. Come on, Spirit, please. Why the Five of Pentacles and Knight of Wands? We have the Tower. And we have the Fool. Ace of Pentacles. Uh huh. Cancer, someone who's been very much in and out in your life that we previously mentioned this person, that kind of immature player energy that's having, might be having financial difficulties at the moment, or they are just simply missing you, missing your attention. But I'm getting very strong financial, finances, finances, money, uh, resources, uh, kind of energy. Whatever the case might be here, this uh, player energy in and out hot and cold immature childish energy wants to reconcile with you to be in a relationship with the two of cups they caused the tower moment you were dealing here someone who's been very inconsistent they um, they brought chaos to your life they something here was built at the very beginning on a very kind of uh, flim flimsy foundations and it didn't have a chance to blossom into something beautiful or grow into something very beautiful because of this person's attitude inconsistency I also see kind of lies and them particularly lying about their finances they want to come back with the full they want to try again this is someone who wants to try again. They cause the tower moment. Now they are facing a tower moment when it comes to their stability. And I feel this person might feel that you are doing very well. And they want to come back. They want to declare their love. They are having tower moment. They want to have a new beginning in love with you. With the Ace of Pentacles, again, we have very strong 
pentacle energy in your reading cancer they see they sees you as an opportunity and yes this is something that they've been thinking about with the will of fortune they want to change their circumstances by coming back and be with you but this is someone who whose uh, stability and whose finances are looking very very bad the thing is cancer and i'll be if i were you this is my this is advice let's say from the spirit based on this card uh, cards i would be very careful again with this energy because uh, there is a danger here cancer that when this person will get comfortable again they will return to their immature ways with the fool we have the knight of wands and the fool you're dealing here with someone who is very very immature irrespective of of, of their age tenth of september might be quite important 16th of September, October. Nineteen eighty two as a year as well. It's showing up. But it's just they sees you as an opportunity for stability. This is something that you know, this is someone who hasn't been in touch with you with the hermit they thought about the situation you know they, they 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 thought about it you might be dealing with virgo i also have quite very strong aries scorpio energy i also have aquarius taurus scorpio leo energy as well but the thing is that to be careful because when they got really comfortable they can cause another tower moment and just you know just to because this is someone who is non-committal cancer they can't stay long in a relationship they have this edge to go to the explore this is someone who this is like a Peter Pan energy very non-committal player very in and out they can't stay for a long time in one place but they having here difficulties they are missing you also yes with the five of pentacles but then getting here specifically very strongly someone who's having financial difficulties this person is aware that you might be doing do, doing very well and uh, they are coming back here trying to reconcile with you to declare love to be in relationship with you but within time again they can cause a tower moment they did it before because this is someone who is non-committal. They can't stay in commitment for a long time. Very in and out. They see you as an opportunity for, for some sort of stability here. But Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune is spinning. It's Wheel of Destiny. Again, someone inconsistent. They want to change the circumstances big time. But what I'm getting here is this person has to be constantly on the move. They are jumping through people. Therefore, there is something to, to think about here. When this person will approach you, Cancer. Because you can expect a communication from this individual. This is someone that, you, that you've known. You had some sort of a past with them. Or history with. And they will declare their love. And then, you know or reconciliation please take it that it resonates in order for you for, for both of you to kind of uh, for you to give them uh help with the two of cups this is like um it, it's giving me this kind of energy of of love of relationship but also it can be a relative it can be a friend it can be a family member with whom you had the falling out but they want to reconcile because uh they 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 stability here it's 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 crumbling it's 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 not good it doesn't look good and they do want to kind of a i'm getting here essentially someone who wants to stay with you because they might have lost their their flat or their house something like that it's coming through 
for someone. This is very specific. Okay, so it's something to kind of uh, to think about. Cancer, I would leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, Cancer, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a wonderful, fabulous day. And once again, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.